Um, hello everyone. Um, my name is uh, Ichi Young, Professor, um, National Gaucho University of Science and uh, Technology. And today we would like to present uh, the topics. Uh, it's um, the implication of multi-country in commercial property zone. We have four contents, including the definition of um, multi-country consolidation, the so-called MCC. And uh, number two is uh, advantage of uh, MCC in commercial port with its own. F or current state of uh, MCC in commercial port FTZ and the implication of uh, MCC in commercial port with its own. And first one we have uh, to give it defined uh, what is the uh, MCC. MCC must mean uh, uh, free forward or uh, we so called the uh, logistics service provider are uh, uh, created a lot of uh, cargo from the different country and they bring the same destination uh, to implement uh, some logistics service including the assembly, simple pro process and packing and lab labeling and increase the uh, some uh, cargo at value. So MCC quite uh, is is not new one uh, idea, but actually is uh, quite a new uh, concept for the our uh, special in Taiwan. So uh, our customer authority to our uh, to dis after discuss this uh, prep order, and some this service provider uh, they permit and allow the freight forwarder can do this kind of MCC service. Okay, so uh, uh, let me see the evolution of uh, so NCC in commercial port free FTZ. So after discussing the uh, freight order, the customer authority have uh, deregulated their, uh, uh, their customer eight. Allow some in uh, 2014, uh, mm. allowed uh, mm, the freight forwarder could handle our MCC business and apply for the cust custom dedication for transshipment and transigus. So uh, let's see the, what is the aim of uh, MCC in commercial FTZ. Of course to expand the cargo source of commercial port to attract more big ship, that means uh, mega ship bursting and further add to the core operation and the number three increase of improvement uh, opportunity. Okay, here is the uh, NCC concept, very uh, very simple medical understand. Uh, you can use, uh, uh, because you can import some uh, cargo uh, because they are uh, ABCD, the different supplier and use uh, this place, let's mean logistic, logistic center or warehouse to do this kind of uh, consolidation and then package become uh, one, 20 feet, uh, 20, I mean, so one two or 20, uh, one, 20 feet or uh, 50 feet uh, uh, big box, 20 feet means small box to come console together and uh, to uh, become the full, I mean, so F0, that means full container low freight and uh, used by the um, carrier to transport your destination. So you can say the are uh, your cost and uh, especially in your cargo transshipment. Oh so uh, let's see another is at advantage of MCC commercial FTC. Of course uh, first one they have a cost effect because you can cancel your uh, uh, small package for example the LCL cargo and it become the uh, uh, full container loads. So so you can put it in put it in uh, the twenty fixed box inside. Okay, and the NCC is suitable for company and uh, import some light volume goods from the market country and become the MCC freight. And also you can use this kind of uh, hub and spoke network and to to, uh, to use the carrier service to transport your cargo to different country, different place. Okay, MCC also you can uh, utilize this kind of um, consolidation and function to save your transport goods, and uh, also increase your uh, business volume and uh, revenues. 
and uh, they can say some are uh, some ocean freight because if you use uh, uh, LC or streaming that means very, very small package or uh, small box uh, sometimes use um, the transport co cost very high but if you become their big box let's uh, uh, become the FCL cement that's mean uh, you can argue you can get some benefit some carrier okay here's the current state of MCC in um, commercial port FDC uh, so that means in Taiwan uh, until the 2016 16, the Taiwan Customs Authority permit about the trail logistics service provider and seven container freight station uh, why we permit the container freight station because uh, um, some container freight station is uh, located uh, uh, to locate the nearby the port seaport uh, so it's belong to the FDC so uh, they can operate this kind of uh, use their warehouse to operate uh, NCC's uh, cargo okay uh, three uh, three located in Kilong four in Kaohsiung and uh, we find out this uh, 2016 uh, the, the total trade volume not so many uh, just uh, 270.4 turns Including some machinery, electric part, and cargo and others. Of course, it's brought in mainland China or some places. Uh, three point one less main issue because it would make a lot of problem because uh, uh, in a regional, so uh, in primarily, so our government say estimate the MCC can uh, to, can make a lot of produce a lot of. Uh, falling transshipment goods uh, from the other country or other place uh, area about uh, um, 500,000 to 600,000 and also can create a job 2,000 people job and uh, the finally you can see the 2016 the only two, you know 217.4 uh, terms so not so many so where is the problem? So let us see. Where is the problem? Of, of course, uh, because um, um, import and export goods, transshipment goods are separate from warehouse. So our, um, of course, we create a lot of cost because uh, according to our customers' uh, regulation, you have to separate in your warehouse. Uh, you have separate different place to put your our uh, to put your cargo. For example, our uh, uh, you have separate uh, to import cargo one line, export cargo one line, uh, transshipment goods one line, also including the ours, including MCC cargo. And also uh, for for a customer authority, they will make some custom dedication. So you have to uh, to use the uh, uh, import uh, goods. Uh, uh, some dedication and then ask for good dedication so you have used two times so waste two time money and the uh, number three be because the, the X and the uh, are sufficient MCC warehouse because uh, MCC there are uh, I mean they're goods uh, or you, you can say there are uh, it's not so many so a lot of warehouse uh, operator or or um, Content station, they dislike to uh, to offer this kind of uh, MCC cargo for uh, for storage, and also uh, because um, because so far it's, um, the C uh, C freight forwarder or L forwarder is, uh, cannot transmit uh, their uh, manifest information to the uh, to the to the custom authority, so that means uh, they have. Uh, they ha when they handle this kind of uh, consolidation, uh, um, special for transmit goods have been some problem. Uh, and, and also for the um, customer authority, um, it's not familiar with this uh, MCC how to uh, operate. So so far the MCC they will ask the MCC there are the cargos are cannot regard it as a transshipment you have to uh, make uh, uh, make your 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 cargo the, the, the name is very um, clearly so it's complicated another one is a uh, transshipment goods uh, normally you can use a generic cargo but uh, in the MCC cannot use 
Uh, three per three less means uh, talking about solution. So what kind of solution? Of course, we have the deregulate. So some are uh, some brave for the uh, in the future maybe can uh, declare declare and the cargo manifest directly to handle the uh, transmit goods. So the, the government have uh, so revised revised some uh, some rules and the regulation, including the regulation of freight forwarder management by custom, uh, regulation on the container frustration management by custom, operating guideline of uh, customer clearly and management. Okay, uh, another is uh, because the freight forwarder want to more use more cheaper. Uh, cheaper handling costs because um, if you uh, pay for order or supply logistics service provider have a leading uh, our um, 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 leading um, the, the big warehouse sometimes it costs a lot of uh, their handling costs so uh, yeah, so sort of some prefer favorable orders to suggest a government to set up this kind of uh, popular warehouse to offer the um, um, Trade forwarder can handle their cargo. So we say about the Taipei, Taichung, and the Kaohsiung uh, uh, have some public port. Okay, and also you can uh, construction some NCC information platform. So the trade forwarder or um, can use this kind of platform to apply for NCC cargo. So it's very easy to uh, transfer their, their document. Okay, it's a flow chart of uh, MCC, so you can access the MCC the information platform and the council message it and uh, them to or uh, to to submit your document or information to the customer clearly system and then application MCC container staffing message and then finally you can get some permit uh, message from the customer clearly system. Okay. How about the implication of uh, MCC case for logistics service provider? First one, of course, you have to improve economic of scale of our MCC cargo. So far, so far, um, a few prefer the um, prefer to do this kind of MCC cargo because uh, a few, and the uh, handling cost very high. And you can, for example, you can see the table one, and uh, you can see the Gao showing it's a uh, dollar. Special for our staff, our chart is uh, 12.55 and uh, how about Hong Kong only 77, uh, Singapore is 10. So that means uh, uh, Hong Kong and Singapore or Busan, the staffing chart is cheaper than Kaohsiung. Of course, uh, number two is to uh, enhance the uh, global logistics uh, network relationship because the uh, freight forward have to uh, keep a very good relationships on uh, all the worlds. So it's not only freight forward, including the custom broker, truck company, warehouse operator. So uh, they have to handle a lot of business. How to establish the logistic network relationship, keep a good time, uh, keep a good place is very important. And also they have provide some different service, not only the uh, uh, common cargo, including maybe they can create some, uh, I mean, cold chain or high tech or medicine and fruit. So to see the high frequency the selling roads also is very important because uh, you would like to use the, this kind of MCC cargo that's been can transport to all the worlds. Uh, so you can uh, you have to keep in touch with some very relationship with a very good carrier to handle this kind of MCC cargo. So you can see that in Kaohsiung we have total amount of uh, one two point frequency, Taichung 40 or uh, 40 uh, 48, Taipei 27, Kilong 55. Okay, to lessen uh, the movement cost uh, uh, across the warehouse because uh, if you the warehouse uh, have to gather uh, some MCC license from the custom authority, then can handle this kind of MCC. If you uh, if you the cargo import into the use the uh, warehouse without NCC license. That means that it can that's permit to or uh, to handle MCC cargo. Sometimes it will cost a lot of money. Okay, to issue the safety good. Of course, we can use this kind of uh, uh, for the profit for the freight for the. I think so. They have keep the uh, uh, keep the goods in the good uh, condition and keep them very safety. Okay, develop a custom 
uh, customized uh, information system so you can keep a good time to, for example, you can use the e-logistic information to handle this kind of e MCC or uh, information and the document. Okay, this is my uh, Vita, and uh, thank you for your listen. I'm Yichi Yang, Professor of National Gaoshan University on Science and Technology in Taiwan. Our, uh, if you have any comment or a new idea uh, on this topic, please send a mail to me. Uh, thank you for your listening. Thank you. Bye-bye.